Stripes are a great decorative technique for your walls. But how do you create straight and clean lines? I'm ready to show you. Let's get rolling. Here's all the supplies you need for today's project. Step one, choose vertical or horizontal stripes. Horizontal stripes make the room appear spacious and vertical stripes make the ceiling appear higher. In this room, I'm going to paint flat and glossy stripes. Step two, clean and prep your walls. The first thing you want to do is make sure your wall is clear of any dust, lint, or dirt. Using some soap and water, clean your walls. And once you have it cleaned, wipe it down with a dry cloth. Step three, remove any outlet covers. You will want to remove the faceplate covers on light switches and outlets. And here's a tip. Tape the screws to the back of the outlet covers so you don't lose them. Step four, apply painter's tape. Use a low stick painter's tape, like Ace's Clean Release Painter's Tape, to tape the walls and the baseboards. Follow up with a damp cloth to really lock in that tape. Step five, paint. Now, you're gonna place a drop cloth on the floor. We're gonna pop open this paint and give it a good stir. First, you're gonna paint the base coat on the walls. For stripes, that's really important because the base coat will be one of the stripes. Start by using a two inch synthetic brush and apply the paint to the trim all the way around the room. Then take a medium 3 8 snap roller and paint the entire wall. It's best to roll the paint in a W formation like this. It's also important that the base coat dries for at least 48 hours before you start working on your stripes. Step six, begin measuring and marking the walls for the stripes. Stripes should be anywhere between four to 16 inches wide. A width less than four inches would be a little too narrow. And anything more than 16 to 18 inches is a bit too wide and heavy. This self-leveling Bosch laser is so slick and easy to use. You can create straight lines in seconds. I'm using Frog Tape's yellow delicate tape so it doesn't remove the paint underneath. Start at the bottom of the wall and measure your first stripe and use that line to apply the painter's tape along the beam. The beam will show you exactly where to place that next stripe. Next step, paint. Before you begin painting, make sure you clearly identify the stripes that are gonna be painted and which ones aren't. I like using these X marks on the tape to really make sure that I am not painting those areas. I decided to use the same color, which is Clark and Kensington's New Beginnings. I'm gonna use semi-gloss paint. Start at the top of the stripe on one side and work your way all the way to the other, covering everything in between the two lines. Remove the tape once you've painted the wall, angling away from the freshly painted areas that you pull. There you go, beautiful, elegant stripes. If you're looking for another way to wow your room, you've gotta see my floor to ceiling accent wall. That video is coming up next.